Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, Senior Market Analyst at IG in Australia. US equity markets finished lower last week, weighed on by volatility in the bond markets, hawkish Fed speak, and upside surprises in German and Australian inflation data. Month-end rebalancing flows from real money accounts also likely played a part. In my opinion, it's no coincidence that the stunning rebound in US equity markets into the weekend really found another gear after 3 p.m. Central Time, which is a common time for month-end flows to end. Helping to set the backdrop for Friday's stunning rebound, earlier in the session, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, poor PCE inflation, fell to 2.7%, which was the lowest level since March 2020-21. The cooler PCE inflation data keeps open the door for a Fed rate cut in September, which starts this week about 50% price. This week, the focus will be on ISA manufacturing and service PMI data, building into Friday's non-farm payrolls data release. Let's take a look at the charts to see where they are as they start this new week. Now, last week, we spoke about or highlighted this loss of momentum candle, which occurred in the S&P 500 cash weekly, uh, right on this trend line resistance coming from this high back in January 2022. We did say it usually or is often associated with indecision. And then, of course, we finished lower last week. But it's not really a slam dunk for us to the downside because Friday's rebound has it back eyeing this trend line resistance. What I would say is we need to be cautious. We haven't closed above there, but neither have we rejected this level at this point of time. Now, where would rejection come in? That's really the question. For me, it would be below this 5190 low that we saw last week, potentially down to 5180. A sustained close below there. Moving after moving no higher this, than this area here, I think that probably gives us the green light for a deeper pullback. When I look at the NASDAQ weekly chart, well, it managed to spend one week above this trend line resistance from this high back in November, but then for most of last week, it was back below there, closing back up around this area here. So a bit of yo-yoing back and forth here with the NASDAQ as well. I have this trend line resistance coming in around 18,650 to 18,750. So this level uh, needs to be closed if we want to see the NASDAQ push on to the upside. In terms of how high the NASDAQ could get to, well, you have a really nice trend line projected from off this July 23 high, comes in around 19,300. In terms of where the downside support is for the NASDAQ, well, Look no further than this level, which we highlighted back during March and April. This is the 17,750 level, which was the uh, the break here. We did see this break in late April uh, or mid-April, which took us down to this low here, 16,973, before rebounding again. This level over here is around 17,750. So that is the level that NASDAQ has to break to really confirm that we have potentially topped out. At this point of time, we're still looking for more confirmation, but they are the levels to keep in mind for this week. Thank you for listening. 